here we are with the MT dash Vicky. Do I have to say dash MT Vicky device? Our awesome little stream dock. That's what they call it. And well, nothing too spectacular about the boxing itself, but you do see that there are plenty of logos from applications and streaming services here on the top. And you even got a little Pac-Man there. I don't know why, but let's see what we get in our box for 116 bucks. Not exactly a budget option. This is right in line with the Elgato stream deck pricing. So let's see what we get off the top. We get some decals for our covers. We have a nice little gradient from pink to blue. We have some green decal and some other decal here with some other colors. All right, so you get three options for decal. Uh, you can either choose to leave it black or use one of these if you like. If I had to choose, I might use something like this right here, but let's see which one I end up going with. It's gonna be one of these two. Look at what we get as far as accessories in this little black case. We get a nice long USB-C to USB-A cable here. So, and it looks like the actual USB-C header has an angle to it. So you have it at a right angle or left, depending which way you orient it. And we get our stand here. I see that there are some levels there. If you look very closely, looking on the back of the stand, you'll see that there's two notches only, but then there's this third one here that sticks out on the top, which can make it really low. So uh, I guess with this, you'll have like, it's really the same no matter which side you put. That will be your third step. So that's one. And then you have these two, two and three. So not bad. And four, if you want to consider flat being an option. Of course, you're going to get your instructions, how to connect it, set it up, and what some of the features are. These are some of the things to expect it to kind of guide you in quick setup, right? How to set up some of the keys, the angles at which you can angle your device, which are three levels. And last but not least, let's go ahead and dig out our, oh, this feels very small and thin. Let's dig out our little empty Vicky stream dock out of our bag here. And all right, this is what you are going to get in your box kind of cool here it's pretty matte to the touch this front piece right here is metal okay and you have yourself 15 glossy buttons pretty cool has a pretty eh, kind of thin profile a little bit wedged as you can see there and on the back of course just some feet and the usb port is on the top of this device i probably would have preferred it on the back maybe but we're gonna see how we can configure that with the USB on the top. I guess that's exactly why you have a right angled cable header for the USB-C. Okay, the buttons themselves are not very noisy. I'm gonna put it next to the mic. Not so bad, a little bit of a rubbery feel on the back end of that, nice gasket. Okay, I like that. It, wasn't, it won't make any noise in your stream or your recordings when you go to press. A particular button here i'm gonna go with the i don't know what color spectrum this is it's more like of a, a dark colored decal i'm gonna use this as my decal for my device because why not if you don't like any of these which they're a little bit generic but depends on your flavor it may look really nice to your eyes right that's really just a matter of preference All right, Techies and Gamers, here we are plugged in with our Stream Dock by MT Vicky. And plugging it in, what I see here is Mirrorbox. So it looks like they have sourced their device from Mirrorbox themselves because, well, why else would it say Mirrorbox, right? What? The tricky thing to do is to read instructions of the manual that it comes with because you can't just search MT Vicky software download and find it online because you won't find it like that in the instructions you will see that it gives you the site for the windows and mac download for this application to manage your uh, your hardware here the app will show as stream dock installer and well what we're going to do is just run the installer be sure to run this as an administrator 
click next, stream deck doc, click next, install, and well, we are installing. All right, in your face, we have the app in all of its beautiful glory. And now with the app installed, it's automatically detected and we see our awesome device right here in our face. Cool, and you have some icons. Um, I don't know what icons or macros or shortcuts it added to this device. We're gonna take a look at that on our desktop. All right, so just a quick overview of the actual application we have here. So just looking at the top left, it looks like it takes us to an app store. So there is a app store for this device. That's right, you can get a number of plugins here, which work, which don't, I don't know. Sometimes these plugins don't actually work per se. So some plugins look like they're already installed like memo notes and social media and YouTube live and stuff. So, cause I can see them on the deck already. So there are, wow, a lot of categories for installing a number of plugins. I'll probably do a follow up video just to show you which plugins are probably must haves or definitely want to have for your stream doc. So for a number of apps, you can probably just do a search for particular icons you may need for your application. I don't know if it has everything. It looks like there are bundles of icons depending on what you use. So if I use DaVinci Resolve, I can install 50 icons designed for Resolve. So if I click into it, gives me a little bit more information for DaVinci Resolve. And well, if you are like myself, that use the DaVinci Resolve, I probably would use this. You can install it. And then we have a number of tutorials. All right, so let's go ahead and close out this store. Going right along, we have tutorials. Uh, I wonder if that takes you straight to the page. Yep, same page. We have uh, settings here. So we have some device settings. We can check for updates, which I'm gonna do right away. This is the latest. Okay, most current version. Cool beans, English, power on, minimize, and application folder. So this will take you straight to the application folder for the Steam Dock. Not sure why I would need that. I guess maybe to manage maybe some icons or plugins or something. Uh, device, and this is the firmware update. We can check for a firmware update and we are on the current firmware. So nothing to do here. Automatic screen off, follow the system. We can turn it off with a timer or we can turn it off when the system turns off. I'm gonna leave it to turn off with the system. You can control your brightness here, but I actually have a button for controlling the brightness. Info board, this is to show you your different boards. Wow, there are a lot of pages we can actually connect here, but this is your info board. I probably would change a couple of these. I don't know, maybe, maybe not, but I do like some of these settings, getting to my C drive fast, controlling the brightness and toggling through different pages. But I probably would change some of these particular buttons. Music console. So this is to add buttons for controlling music. Obviously, fast forward, stop, increase the volume, decrease the volume and mute. Pretty snazzy to have. All right, moving right along on this software we have over here, we have default scene, we can add or we can select it and remove it. Yes, I want to delete that scene. And then we have a button here to edit a scene. So we can go here and edit scenes, which is the same as going up to your settings scenes. All right, as seen, you can click through your pages. Let's look over here on the right, we have stream doc. So these are all the settings for the stream doc itself. Next page, previous page, you can configure these as buttons toolbox. These are shortcuts for hotkeys, for setting up hotkeys. And for website keys, mouse keys, you get the idea, open up applications. You can set those here and set the application to open. Awesome, if you're tired of entering passwords, you have that here. Audio player, you can play stop audio, operation flow. I like that it has a particular uh, setup here for OBS, right? You have your own OBS tab and you can set all these particular buttons, which are the most common buttons that are available for OBS. So if you want to record, you can set that as a record button, which is one I will use, one for stream, definitely virtual camera scene, changing your scene, source of visibility, that's kind of awesome, and so on and so forth. Transitions, that's kind of cool. You want to have a transition button. Moving right along, useful notes, things to remember, this will bring up your memos, weather inquiry, calendar, switch audio devices, awesome, and time options. 
And that is basically the overview of what this particular uh, software has. Now you can get very, very granular with what you can set up here. So we're going to toggle over to page two and do a couple of demos here just so you can see what you can do with this application. We can actually change the image for the boot logo. Right now we have it as you saw previously, but we can turn it to some other designated image, which I will probably do later on. I might just use my own logo. These are the keys. I don't know what they are doing. It looks like it tells you right here what the hotkey is. L Windows D. Does that mean it takes me back to my desktop? Possibly. And then we have something here. Uh, L. That's a lot of different key combos right there. I don't know what that is, but let's go ahead and press that. And it brings up the on-screen keyboard in case I wanted to type. So um, it doesn't tell me exactly what they are because they're each not titled. None of them are titled here. So you want to make sure you title them. So for that first one, we can say desktop view, right? And there you have it, Tekken and Gamers. A brief intro to the MT Vicky Stream Doc.